Never have enough pictures of photo bags. <laughs> there's another one in the front that nobody's using. Come on, and there's another one. Oh, oh I thought it was a camera. <laughs> Face on the back of the cub. You see the, the cub locked up there? Yeah, it
Close the gun. Nice to get on video. It's, no, it's, he's an average hey, size. Average? He's probably he's about the same size as the one in the uh, museum. He's coming he's over to looking, say he's hi. He's actually a little thin too. I smell human. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There he's got his neck way 
up. Huh? Okay, now up on the other two. The yeah. wind is in the right direction. We're smelling. Yeah. And there's something from the kitchen, like garlic. And, 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 tooted, so and fish. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, you're going to be the next bear for the war. Yeah. You show him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you buy some of that too, Cindy. Uh, <laughs> okay, the one bear that I've seen, he's in. He's walking toward. He's in the scope now. Oh. Way, way, way. Oh, you're going to lay down? You're going to no, lay down? Oh, he's going to get up. Here he comes. Holy Moses, how'd you see that? Oh, I'm going to say, like, I'm never looking at it. Here comes the bear. Because, because you don't look at what's here because you already spotted it. So you're always covering your eyes all the way around the world. You saw that one, you couldn't see a thing. Yeah. Oh, he's moving. He's heading this way. This one's a little, this one's bigger. Mm -hmm. He's been out in the ice at least a year. Probably two. This one will be the, you know, the first year he's gone without the model. Yeah, look behind you. He was out on the light, he was out on the ice a little bit by himself last year. Say Adrian, they do have both.
Or grab a seat, okay? Hi, thank you. Yes. This is excellent. Hi. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if it's up for this. Hello. I'm under you, eh? And I got That's plenty fun. of cushions. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Okay. You want to okay. sit on my lap? No, it's okay. okay. <laughs> we might have to get him. Yeah, how is he going to get in? Yeah. With that remedy behind oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Okay, first of all, we'd like to thank you and welcome you to our culture little presentation here. Uh, we are Inuit, we are from Nunavut, a community called Alvet, which is located on the western coastal area of Hudson's Bay along the, the shore, and it's roughly around 200 miles north of Churchill here. So I guess it's probably the closest community to Manitoba from Nunavut. And Nunavut became a territory in 1999 with about uh, 28,000 people all together, but I'm sure it's grown now since it's been a few years back. <laughs> <laughs> and there are 28 communities, maybe 28 communities scattered all over Nunavut. So uh, we're from Arbet, and I think it's probably the closest community to Manitoba. Um, the reason we keep coming down here is because we wanted to show everybody how our people used to live, because we don't live like this anymore. Uh, we've all moved into modern housing with everyday modern things like electricity, um, running water, uh, TVs, computers, and everything. Uh, we get everything uh, flowing and by sea lift. So um, there's about 2,400 where we come from, and like 90, 97 to 98% close to there is uh, the Inuit, and we still speak our language. The other person is white people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They so ruin everything, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Very useful. <laughs> um, in Nunavut, um, we don't have much paved roads. Uh, we all have gravel roads. Um, we get, we have about like hundred, less than hundred kilometers of paved roads. But if you want some more information on Nunavut, you just click on your computers and go. <laughs> 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 okay. like www. <laughs> It's all made from the caribou. There's about 25 skins there. I lost count. I just kept on adding and adding. With a lot of help from the elders back home, uh, we came up with our tent and just wanted to show uh, the people uh, of other cultures or the, uh, other people that might be interested in, in our culture because we don't live like this anymore. Uh, we just wanted to show people how we used to live. So uh, there's 25, about 25 skins there. And this is one one of the ways they make the, the, the tupet. This is a, a rather large size tupet to hold a lot of people in here. A normal uh, tent would have be half the size of this. Uh, way back then. And uh, this is uh, my kulit, our source of heat and light way back then. But uh, this is just a substitute for our kulit. Uh, normally it would be made from the soapstone and it would burn along the rim there uh, from a blubber, seal oil blubber. But in this case I'm just using the peat moth and candle wax because um, the seal oil blubber is a little bit too messy for her. For <laughs> it probably it smells be, a bit too. Yeah, because huh? we keep going back and forth. Because I don't, I don't <coughs> use that seal oil blubber for these. I might not even be good at that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this is doing pretty good. It's, it's just a substitute for our, like our source of heat and light back then. And um, we are wearing caribou skin clothing. 
uh, you probably saw Peter wearing his mm -hmm. when, yes. he's, mm -hmm. when he could get in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in the winter time, they would uh, use two layers of uh, out, outerwear, outerwear, and the inner parka. Uh, the inner parka would uh, have the hair in inside again, but the outer parka. The kulitak would have the hair outside that, just like what uh, Peter's wearing right now. And um, before before we do anything else, Peter usually demonstrates a little drum dancing the way we have it back home. Um, in the higher Arctic, they have more than one drummer. But uh, where we come from, we only have one drummer in the middle, and they would be dr uh, they would be drumming. Singing to, uh, they would be, I'm getting mixed up here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, you're yeah. okay. We are too. Yeah. <laughs> what does they it would, matter? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so again, to their song. Uh, most individuals have their own song, and they would off, that song would often tell of that person's life experiences that he wants to remember or it's worth hearing about to other people. Yes. And they can share the song if they have the same name. It's very common to have same names uh, in Nunavut. So they can share the song. And drum dancing is just pure entertainment for the Inuit and they can ha have a drum dance whenever there's festive occasions like Easter, Christmas, or celebrating somebody's birthday and just being happy to be an Inuk and wanting to drum and hear their <laughs> song. And it goes something like, I, uh, Thank you. 
You can't see. Oh, there she is again. She's come out again. does come towards the vehicle. Get all your things on and your stuff ready beforehand. If you go outside, keep the noise level down. Keep your voices down. He is too guarded. No interest at whatsoever in dealing with the vehicle, so you'll probably go in those. Well, I might keep going. Sometimes they just go in the willows and lay down and vanish. This guy's coming for a ramble, and the bus behind is pushing him too. Kind of monkey business subject because um, they were there at all for three days. We've been staying at that end, so we haven't been here at all. Nobody in this one thing if that's why these, why they're acting so. Yeah, they're getting chased around. Yeah. Looks tired. Okay, lunchtime. He's looking. He doesn't really like us, I don't think. Oh, I'll pretend we're not here, are they? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
no puppy we yeah. saw the other day that I'm going back for. Oh, Still got some, a little bit of gray on his tail. Yeah, still yeah. not quite grown everything out yet. So, uh, so that was the final animal we were waiting yeah. for, wasn't it?